Hello everybody. How are you all doing? This is Tithi here. And today I am going to give you some tips and tricks that will help you in conquering the part C questions faster. So solve the CSR net part C questions faster with this smart strategies. Stay with me with the video. So I have come here with six such strategies. Let's get started. So the first thing will be to choose the correct question. Okay. Now you all know that in CSIR exam, there are choices given to us. Right. So we have part A where there will be 15 questions. Out of those uh, uh, 50, uh, sorry, there are 20 questions in part A. Out of those, we have to do only 15. So there are 20 questions given out of that. We have to choose only 15. Then in part B, there will be 50 questions given and we have to choose only 35 out of it. In part C, there will be the maximum number of uh, choices are given here. In part C, 75 questions are given and out of that we have to only attempt 25. Okay, so this is a like it can it can seem like it is easier because now you have options so you have some liberty to leave some questions but at the same time making the correct choices is very very important because all the questions they come with their share of negative marking okay so in part a part b or part c it is always one fourth percent or 25 uh, percent of the marks will be deducted for every wrong answer that is why it becomes very very important that you choose the questions wisely okay so do not fall in the uh, trap of choosing wrong questions or the questions that you don't know okay by wrong question means the questions that you don't know don't fall in fall in the trap of doing that don't fall in the trap of attempting the difficult looking questions, okay? Because here you are not uh, for uh, impressing somebody, right? Because anyways, it will be a computer uh, automated test and the checking will also be automation, okay? So it will be not that you are trying to impress anybody. So don't go for all this. Don't go in that uh, traps. So stay focused okay and choose the question correctly choose the question from the topic which you have done which you are completely sure of now one way of doing it is by taking the question paper by rounds okay so when you do it by rounds basically so you do the difficult uh, sorry the easiest question or the questions that you know that you are completely sure of do those questions in the first round okay and like that Whatever, so you can have an idea also correctly that what all questions are remaining and how many more choices you have to make. Okay, so that if you do, then you will avoid making mistakes and avoid getting negative marks for the wrong answer. Okay, and avoiding the negative marks is like it will be a, it will be a huge help when you will look into your complete score. The second thing that you should do is understand the question properly okay so you in this understanding when you have to understand the question properly you have to understand that you cannot do selective reading here you have to read the entire question completely okay and not only once but twice or thrice you have to read a single question to understand it properly okay now as you are doing it so uh try to make some notes out of it okay so if it is a theory based question so read the question and take out the important points from it and if there is some important steps given then take out that important steps write it down okay that will help you in comprehending or binding together everything that is given in the question if the question is numerical then write the numerical data what all values are given to you okay also write down what has been asked in the question okay what are they asking you to find out right so usually it might happen that the data is similar but the question asked is different like they are asking for something else or in which unit are they asking okay these things are very very important 
for numerical so write the values write what they are asking and what calculation you have to do and accordingly you apply the formula if there is any unit change or anything is required then please do that next for the experimental questions where they will give you the experimental step a new kind of set setup is given some numer uh, some graphical data is given to you okay so there also write down the steps write down the steps of the experiment okay suppose they have added some kind of uh, uh, transcription factors okay and they are sh then there will be some data showing that whether transcription is happening or not happening or what is the level of transcription is it same as normal is it above normal is it below normal okay so all these things you have to comprehend and the best way to doing it is by writing it down okay so take out extract the important things from the from the question and write it down that will help you in comprehending the question easily as well as faster next choose match the following kind of questions okay now this match the following kind of questions are like a jackpot why am i doing it I, why am i saying that they are jackpot so i really feel that these questions are like a jackpot because here if you do correct matching for one or maximum two also the chances are very high that you will get the correct answer by the selective elimination from the options given to you okay so for so this match the following usually they will have a four or five uh, uh, concepts and their meanings or uh, some animal and their where they are found or some kind of okay so or some scientists and the theory given by it so in any of this okay there will be four or five points given to you and out of that if you are able to match one or maximum two also you will be able to get the correct answer by checking the options given there okay so that will be very smart here and you should always do that so whenever you are sure that okay i'm so suppose there is a b c d data given here and it is one two three four okay now you are completely sure that d matches to one okay so check the options don't be a fool i will say a fool because that will lose you marks that, that will lose you time that if you try to match all a b c d and then check the options don't do that if you know for sure that d is one matches with one then try d one and then check the options the chances are very high that you will be able to eliminate two or if you are lucky three options also at that time so if you are eliminating three options that means you have got your answer already right so never miss this match the following kind of questions try it if if it is in part b or part c it does not matter definitely take this part c kind of questions and whenever you start attempting the question paper take this as the first okay take this questions as the first and you will be able to solve them faster and that will also save you time okay and it kind of makes your moral also right it will boost your moral also that in the beginning of the paper only if you are able to solve this good uh, good amount of questions so that makes your moral that makes you confident for rest of the exam okay now moving on to the fourth strategy will be do not overlook the requirement of the question now what do i mean by this is that if the so if the question is saying that correct statement choose the correct statement okay then choose the correct statements only if the question is saying that choose the incorrect statements this is very very important okay because nowadays this kind of questions are asked a lot of time and if incorrect is asked and you start marking the correct option uh, correct statements or if correct is asked and you start choosing the incorrect statements you will go wrong and this will even hurt you more emotionally not only in terms of marks it will hurt you emotionally because the concepts you will be knowing it is like you know the thing and still you did not answer it correct okay that, that that hurts us more right so that is what will happen okay so do not overlook the requirement of the question make sure that you read the question properly and you 
are sure that water has been asked in the question. Similarly, for the numericals, as I told you, one more thing you have to do is make sure that the units are in the proper order. Okay, because with the different units, if the, the conversion is required, make sure you do that or else you will not be able to reach the correct answer. Okay, if the proper units you are not applying. Another kind of uh, thing is about the graphical questions. Okay, so whenever these graphical questions are given, so make sure that you read the coordinates properly. Okay, check the coordinates, what is given in the coordinates and then you make the analysis of the graphs. Okay, otherwise what will happen is see two very similar graphs can be there. Okay, but if the coordinates are different, the graph might be looking same, but they are uh, analysis or the answer or the meaning of those graphs will be completely different if the coordinates are different okay so make sure you do not overlook the requirements of the question means if it is talking about correct and incorrect questions so make sure you are you you understand that and you keep that in your mind if it is a graphical question it is important to check the coordinates if it is a numerical question make sure that you are understanding the numbers you are understanding the units and now you know how to approach the question moving forward to the fifth strategy will be smart time management there is no doubt in csir exam Time management or for that matter in any competitive exam, time management is the major hindrance. People who are able to do this time management or who are, uh, who are uh, I will say, who are excellent in time management during the exam, I bet you they are the one who are going to qualify the exam. Okay, because see, you have 145 questions to read. You have 75 of part C questions, which itself will be big, so big. Okay, you have to read them. You have to understand them and then you have to solve them. Definitely, it takes time and definitely it needs very important time management skill. Okay, so yes, how to do that time management? First of all, the best thing will be because CSIR paper comes in different sections. So make a habit of dividing time for different sections. Okay. I'm saying make a habit because take the mock test. Okay. Take the previous year question papers and there also practice in the same way as you are going to do in the exam hall. So divide time for every single section. Uh, so I will suggest that give 30 minutes to part A maximum one hour for part b and keep one hour 30 minutes or 90 minutes for part c okay now this part b is one hour i will say that it can act as a buffer okay it can act as a buffer so if you are done faster okay then one hour then you can use that time for doing the part c questions okay now, there has been a, a debate, I will say, among people like which section to approach first. I personally feel that approaching part C is the best. Okay. See, I will suggest that the, the, the main strategy of smart work is that you do lesser amount of work and get more rewards. Okay. Now, part C questions are like that because for every correct question, you get plus four. Okay, yes, definitely there is negative marking there, but for every correct question, you get plus four also. Okay, so if you are attempting 25 correct questions in part C, automatically your score is 100, 100, right? So I will suggest that start first with part C so that you can approach the question with a fresh mind. You are not approaching the question with any previous baggage. Okay, and then you will be able to analyze it better. And I know you all have prepared, so you all will do good in the exam, just that you should have the confidence that you can solve the part C questions. Okay. Then after all this, try to keep, keep 10 to 15 minutes, okay, for rechecking the paper at the end. 
Now, at that time, actually, you can check. You can check what all questions you have skipped. If there is any question from there that you can still answer. If there is any question that you overlooked, you thought that you are not able to solve, but now you know how to solve it and you can approach it and you can do it correct. Okay. So, all this checking, rechecking, you can done in those last 10, 15 minutes. Now, it is very important to do the smart time management is that you familiarize yourself with the question paper. And that can only happen if you take the mock test regularly. So, take the mock test regularly, do the previous year question paper uh, practice regularly and then you will know, okay. So, you will know you already know what all sections are there okay but you will also know when you practice the questions you will also know what pattern questions are asked all right and that will prepare your mindset for the for for, for attempting the questions better and last but not the least is keep yourself calm when you keep yourself calm then only you will be able to solve the paper better don't get puzzled don't like remember to breathe okay for keeping calm it is very important that you keep on breathing okay keep breathing keep telling yourself that you can do it and at the end for sure you will be able to do it coming to the last smart point will be prepare the topics in depth okay see especially for csir exam this is very very important just having a superficial information about the topic is not going to help you and that is like the hard truth here okay you have to prepare the topics in depth so for that just referring to the coaching classes or just you're referring to your college notes is not going to be enough you have to refer to the standard reference books for the topic Okay, so you have to refer to the reference books. So that much detail, okay, little detail and in-depth knowledge of those topics will be important. Okay, so whatever topics you are preparing for the syllabus, you have to do the in-depth study or else it will be for sure difficult to solve the CSIR questions, like even the part B questions also. In-depth knowledge is required for the topics. And there is an added advantage here that when you do this in-depth uh, study, okay, then you will be able to correlate the topics from different units. And when you are able to do that, then those kind of questions where the topics from two different units are combined together and asked, okay, then you will be able to do those questions also very easily. So, that's all everybody. So these are the smart strategies that will help you in solving the CSIR net part C questions better and faster. Try it and please don't forget to let us know whether these strategies work for you or not or if you have any suggestions we uh, like I would like to welcome that them and please write below in the comments like what all strategies what all more things that people can do to make them solve part c better and faster thank you everyone from me bye